This example focuses on writing the equation line that is perpendicular to y equals uh, 0.25x plus 1 and goes through the point negative 1, comma 2. So let's go ahead and graph this equation first, the blue equation. Uh, 0.25 represents also 1 fourth, so the slope of this equation is 1 fourth. The y-intercept is 1, so let's graph it. So we graph our y-intercept first. Now we'll graph our slope, rise 1 and run 4. And there is our blue line. Now we want to come up with a new equation that's perpendicular to this blue one and runs through the point negative 1, comma 2. So let's graph negative 1, comma 2. So left 1 and up 2. So negative 1, comma 2. So you're looking at um, a graph that's going to be something like this when we graph it out. It's going to have that right angle right in there. So we need to come up with what is the equation of that line that is perpendicular. So you remember back to earlier in our unit, perpendicular lines are uh, opposite reciprocals, or negative reciprocals, we call that, um, from the original equation. So if here is my slope of the original equation of 1 fourth, we're going to reciprocate it and then change the sign. So it was a positive before, now it's a negative. So I'm just going to reduce that to negative 4. So my slope of my new equation is negative 4. Now again, we don't know what that y-intercept is. So to find out what it is. So we have two methods. Method one is, is use your point slope formula or method two slope intercept form. I prefer method two because then you don't have to go ahead and convert it to slope intercept form to find that b. Um, so I'll show you quickly if you want to do point slope. You just go y minus y sub 1. Here is your y value of 2 equals m your slope of negative 4, and then x minus x sub 1, here is your x sub 1 up here, at negative 1. What you have to do is some reducing, simplification of that equation. I prefer method 2. You have to know the slope, which is negative 4, and you need to know a point, x, y, which we know, given to us as negative 1, comma 2. So we substitute those three things into the equation. My y is 2. Mr. Devine, will you please dial 3702? Sorry, again. My, I'm doing this before school work, shall we? Uh, negative 4. My x is negative 1, and then plus b. All right, so go ahead and solve this for b. So 2 stays. Negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4, and then plus b. Now we're going to subtract 4 from both sides, so 2 minus 4 equals b. Then simplify 2 minus 4 is negative 2. Now we know what the b, the y-intercept. So we go ahead and write this in slope-intercept form. y equals slope of negative 4 and y-intercept of negative 2. So here is the equation of our line that is perpendicular to the blue one. We can go ahead and graph this a little bit better now. And what I was doing, a rough sketch. y-intercept of negative 2 slope of down 4, right 1, or up 4, left 1. 